Good morning. My name is Latrina. I am a small business here in Frederick, and I've been reaching out to small businesses to offer free suggestions on how to improve their website presence um, to help recover after the pandemic. This is something that I'm doing um, just as a community benefit. I do live and um, adore Frederick, Maryland, so any small businesses that I have encountered, um, I've been making these custom videos with the hopes that these tips and tricks will help you businesses out. So I've made one for Alley Cat Towing, and I hope that you will find it helpful. It should be very short um, and things that you can actually use and, and do yourself, okay? So let's get started. So first, since this is a free video, it's helpful for me to get feedback. Um, I don't do any selling in this video and I make these custom for every um, business. I actually do research and do this for each business. So would it be too ridiculous to ask for your feedback afterwards? Just one sentence, two sentences, anything that you think you'd like to share with me, whether this was helpful or not helpful, but any feedback helps me to continue making these videos and make sure that they are actually serving a purpose for business owners. Okay, so let's get started. So what I'll cover in this um, video is content backlinks and citations and why they are important website elements. I'll go over your company's online presence and make recommendations for improvement to hopefully get more customers for you. Content is anything that's on your website, such as words, images, videos. It's important to have as much content as possible to get those relevant keywords that people are actually searching for on the internet. Ideally, you'd have 1,500 words on your home page and at least 500 on your back pages. These are not etched in stone, however, this um, amount is a ballpark that Google likes to use um, to consider those businesses that they are experts in their field. That wasn't worded very well. But basically, the more content you have, the more Google ranks you and the more you are perceived as an expert. Then citations are the listings that you get into directories like Yelp, Google, Yellow Pages, etc. I do have an example here on the screen. It's essentially your business name, your address, and your phone number. And you want to get these out throughout the internet, as many locations as you can, and even more than your competitors. Again, this is to rank higher with Google. Then we have backlinks, which is essentially your website address listed on other websites. For example, if you have a Facebook page, if you have Yelp or LinkedIn and Wikipedia, any of these direct traffic to your website. Um, the more you have, the more popular your website becomes and the more emphasis Google gives to your website. Google places really high emphasis on how many backlinks a website has. So it's a validation tool, but not all backlinks are created equal. So if you're in Towing, for example, you would make sure that you have your website address listed on like automotive pages or um, towing and recovery pages rather than like beauty salons and restaurants, day spas, things like that. So let's take a look at your existing online presence. So for Alley Cat, your website, it's here, but no one knows about this website. And the reason they don't know is because you have very little content. You barely have any content. You have, don't, you have no images. Your contact information here, that page is broken. It's not working whatsoever. So what I recommend to you is to get your website up um, and running. You want to have your website in good shape. The website is now like the new business card, if you think of it that way. This is where people are going to look to see, okay, why should I choose this person or this company? What services do they provide? How can I get in touch with them? That's what you're going to want to have on your website. So you're going to want to get keywords that describe all of the services that you have. Again, you want to have 1,500 words on your homepage, and you want to build this out and have more pages, um, maybe three or four like you have a home page, so you'll build this out and put more content to describe who Alley Cat is, where you service, where you're located. You'd have an about us that tells briefly about the company. Then you'd have a services page that describes all the services, towing, recovery, anything that you do, um, tire repair, anything. And then you'll have your excuse me, your contact page, okay? This page right here is currently broken, so people don't even know how to get in touch with you. So that's a big thing that I would point out and say, get that fixed right away, get this website fixed right away. 
If we go to Google right now and we do a search for towing company Frederick, Maryland, um, we see towing services. At the very top, you'll see an ad. Ads are what the companies are paying for. So sometimes they're at the bottom of the page, sometimes if they're there at the top. Um, they do get traffic, but the thing to remember is sometimes um, companies are paying for these ads, but not everybody will see those ads because a lot of people have ad blockers on their computers. So in that case, those ads will be invisible to them. The prime real estate is this map pack. And this is where you want to try to get your business listed. And if you do the things I suggest, you have a very high chance of doing that. Um, content, like I said, the more content you have, the more you're perceived as the expert and you can knock these guys out of their, their places. Okay. 30 to 40% of the website traffic comes here. So this is where these businesses are getting most of their, their, um, traffic. People are coming here, finding them in the map pack, clicking on their name. The rest of the um, Google first two pages are also good real estate to have with Google. Um, most people don't go beyond the second page um, when they're looking for products and services because, you know, we are an impatient um, society and people want services now. So they look at who shows up on the first two pages and they select someone, they reach out and they do business with them. But... Um, what I would say to you is there's no reason you can't um, edge them out of their space or find your space here on the first two pages. And even if with some work on your website, you can even get into this map pack. So let's take a look at one of your competitors. I actually chose Vinny's, which is not the top, but he's here in the map pack. So let's look at Vinny's. Um, I thought I was looking at Vinny's. Oh yeah, okay, here it is. So right now, <clears throat> Your website is not getting any traffic whatsoever. Um, if we were to look at this graph right here, this is you for this week, um, zero clicks. And that's because you have no content, you have no backlinks, you have no domains, and you have no keywords. So your popularity on Google right now is a zero from one to a hundred scale. But if we look at your competitor, Vinny's, you'll see Vinny's, they are getting about, oh, I'm sorry, what am I? mouse is working really weird. They're getting about 120 clicks per day, sometimes a little less than that, but considerably more than you. They're getting over 100 clicks per day where people are looking for their services. So that should be your goal. Your goal should be to build out the website, <clears throat> get that in shape, get some backlinks and domains attached to the website, and get as many keywords as you can that describe your services. So you might be thinking, okay, well, what kind of keywords would I look for? So if we look at Vinny's right now, I can show you the keywords that they're using. They're using um, Vinny's Towing Hagerstown, Maryland. So you would say Alley Cat um, Towing Hagerstown, Maryland. Anywhere you see their name, you would use the same phrases, but put in your name. Frederick Towing and Recovery. There are 20 checks for that a month. Heavy tow truck near me, 700 people are searching for that every month. Um, towing service Frederick, Maryland, 10 every month. So you'd go through and try to get the same keywords that your competitors are using. Towing place near me, 350 people search that every month. Towing recovery near me, 100 people search for that every month. Record companies near me, 600 people search for that every month. So you go through, find the key, look at this, towing and recovery near me. 1.3 um, thousand people search for this every month. So like I said, you try to grab some of these keywords that describe your services and that will boost your website significantly. You'll see it go from zero and gradually climb and climb and climb. And you'll know that it's working because you'll start seeing and getting more um referrals, you can start getting more customers, you start getting more phone calls. That's the goal, right? So I hope this has been helpful to you. I know I covered a lot. I know I may have spoken a lot quickly, quickly than I anticipated and wanted to. So I apologize. I'm not an expert at making these videos, but it's something that I'm, I'm doing to try to help um, small businesses to um, maintain their business grow their business, and recover after the pandemic. Again, please shoot me any feedback that you have. Um, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Wish you the best in your business. Bye.